if you want to learn to clone your pictures so many ways in one photo using an app that is free in every mobile phone's application store you should sit back and relax and enjoy this video is right for you Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a London based content creator. On this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to clone your pictures and photos in so many ways. Before I continue with the introduction of this video, I want you to go into your app store now. If you don't have this app, download it. The app is called Snapseed. S-N-A-P-S-W-E-D. Download this app now so you're able to follow through while I'm going through this explanation. So my birthday is coming guys and obviously this is COVID lockdown quarantine. Most plans people had have now been shattered and we have to make do with what we could do. As creators, it is important to express ourselves a lot this period i'm so excited i'll be able to do this on my birthday there's nothing that big to be honest so guys i was surfing the internet just looking for creative ways to spend my birthday and then there was this notification that came in from ijoma Kola's channel and it's just like how to clone your pick yourself in a picture when i watched the video i saw it was an app that i always use in fact i have a video coming soon on how i edit my pictures for instagram and that app is one of the apps i'm going to use so it's actually a good thing you're downloading it now you're using the snap seeds and it's double exposure how you're able to create various pictures of yourself in one image usually when people use this app to clone themselves they just wear one outfit and probably try to portray doing so many activities maybe reading a book watching a movie playing with the phone you know just doing some things in one second friends wearing the same outfit but i decided to use various outfits and use this picture to say thank you to african designers that had supported me through this past year it's my birthday guys obviously so it's good to say thank you the things you need your camera a tripod yes you don't need any human being because to be honest no human being can actually do this perfectly because their hands will shake but you need your camera to be in one position and then the space or room you're going to use to film and then your outfits or activities you're going to be doing while you're doing it another thing that's important to do is for you to actually go and sit down on every spot where you think you're going to sit down during the shoot and be sure you're not blocking yourself too much you know on every spot you're going to be sitting on once that is done that's fine get your outfit if you're going to wear one outfit fine do your outfit and then do your activities if you're going to wear so many outfits like myself you look at the outfit so these are the outfits by african designers that i brought out to do this So I chose six outfits. Guys, I was quite scared that this space wasn't going to take six, especially with the fact that it's not that long and then the tripod was going to stand. So I made sure I got it, you know, perfectly. Even if you don't have a remote control, you can actually use the timer of your camera. But what I did was to use the EOS remote on my phone for the camera and then set up the camera and I was just holding the phone. So if you look at my pictures closely, you'll see that I was actually hiding my phone on different other positions. So I have my lipstick on now and guess what guys, I'm going to use this scarf for this look because I just thought of the other looks, there's no other look that this scarf is going to go with. This scarf is not anything special, it's my silk sleeping scarf but it totally photographs well and I think the first look is going to be on the floor. So just watch me and let's see how we get to the floor. <laughs> This cotton, I don't know if to even tie it up because it's just the wind. Everything is supposed to be static. So I don't know if to pull the cottons together, but the, the lighting will be too much. The lighting is against me. We shouldn't be, the camera should literally be back in the lighting. I'm going to start shooting now. So I'm just done with the first one, guys. It was a bit of a struggle. I had to move this table this way. For some reason, I don't know, the angle it was getting wasn't like so plenty. So I literally have to be squeezing myself now. For the next one this is red so i definitely can see at the red chair i'm going to have to use some of the space here or maybe this white chair i have to find where to stand bad because I sat at the top of the chair, sat at the bottom. I'm wearing heels for this one because I think my shoes are show too much. 
if you don't know how to do this easy mask go and watch the video okay okay <laughs> I didn't change my earrings, I didn't change my makeup because I wanted to keep it focused on the outfit. So after doing all that, the second part of your work begins. So get your six pictures, look at yourself in those six pictures and make sure you're not blocking yourself. So what I did was to choose 12 instead of six. I chose 12 pictures to each, edited everything on Snapseed as well. Just use the brightness, sharpness, a bit of the ambience to add color. Just depends on how you're scoring or whatever texture you want your pictures to come up. Making it bright and clear is the aim of the first editing. So I edited all 12 of them and then I started working. I'll talk you through this slowly and gently. You go into your Snapseed app open it click this cross that is going to bring up the picture you want to use ideally the picture of the first outfit you want to start editing so you scroll and yeah you grab the picture that's the picture so that was my first outfit look at me sitting on the floor so next thing i'll go to two section it's at the bottom there click to tick it up and then click double exposure so double exposure allows you bring in another picture so once you click double exposure, you click the plus button beside the double exposure and then go back into the folder where you'd have kept these pictures. As you can see, I've gone there, I'll pick the one with the red dress. So that is my second outfit. So once you get this outfit, you go to the bottom, you see the opacity, the, there's a bit of a shadow, push the opacity button to this end. And then you see the red dress is brighter. That's perfect. So right now it looks like you have just the second picture on the screen, but that's not it. So you go to the top of this screen, click that button at the edge there, and then you see a list, click view edits. On the view edits, the tray comes to the side, click the top one, double exposure, and then click the middle button there. That is your paint. So you now paint over where you think that red dress should have been. So that's it, pretty perfect. Even if your finger goes to the cushion and other parts of the sitting room, since you took the picture exactly, it's going to just repaint a cushion, which makes it perfect. Ideally, you can stop here and add the third picture, the fourth picture, the fifth picture, and the sixth picture, but I wanted to make sure I saved at every stage. Just to make sure you get a perfect hang of things, I'm going to run you through the third one. So yeah, we've gone to the folders to pick our third picture searching searching clone yes that's my third picture pow okay so you can see all three of them are looking shadowy go to your opacity push it down and you see the third picture very clear now <laughs> yeah put the upper tray click view edits and then the double exposure at the top you click the middle tray which is your paint and then you paint across where you think that picture should be. Be careful not to touch the other pictures because obviously these other pictures were not there when the other one was taken. So you, don't, you can touch any part of the sitting room, but make sure you don't touch any other human. And then as I do, I love to save it again. Save it, I'll go through another round with you. Picking the fourth one, going into my album where I kept them. I call the album clones. Click it. Go into the folder. Pick up a picture, opacity, and you see your picture clear. So you just position, put your eyes there, remember where that picture was. So click that tray, view edits. Oh, sorry, it's taking time to click. Yeah, view edits. Yep, and then your double exposure tray comes out. Take the middle paint and now be careful while you paint where you think the fourth dress should be. So you can imagine doing this with six pictures. That's the reason I said you should make sure you have a wide space. Make sure you're sure of where you're going to be sitting down for every single position you are trying to clone. So I'll put a picture of how my came process I followed and that's how I came up with the picture. So once you've gotten your picture of all the outfits of yourself or yeah, obviously you're cloning yourself, that's the reason we're doing this. You can now edit it to whatever will suit your Instagram page or wherever it is you're sending the picture to. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at Metro Gypsy on Instagram. You can also drop a comment and so drop a question in the comment section if you need more. And I hope this really enlightens somebody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Click the bell right beside the subscribe button. Also click the thumb up button if you enjoyed this video. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye.